guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Saturday, September 10th. Today is my sister's birthday. Uh, she is 34, I think, today. <laughs> um, we, we were born right in a row, usually, really, like, pow. Because <laughs> my brother is 35 right now. 35 and a half. She's just turned 34 and I'm 32, so we're pretty close together. Anyways, happy birthday, sissy. I already said that, but I'm going to say it again. <laughs> so I got some crochet things I wanted to show you guys and some happy mail that I'm going to go ahead and go through because I really need to put it where it goes. Uh, it's been sitting out and it keeps getting in the way from me doing crafty things and plus Jesse doing schoolwork because we use the same table. Um, so I got to show it and put it up. <laughs> but I did finish a little acorn hat and the only issue is it is a little. I should have made it a little bit bigger, but um, I'm not worried about it because I'm just going to save this one. I can either donate it or save it for like next fall if someone I know has a baby uh, can gift it to them. But uh, anyway, it's still adorable. <laughs> it's a little acorn hat. It fits sissy, but it's not long enough. I should have added more of the light brown. Um, I mean, I guess I still could, but I just don't want to. <laughs> um, so it's all the way done. And I know this is um, Red Heart Coffee. And this is I Love This Yarn Toasted Almond. I have no idea what this is. It's a Red Heart and it's a scrap ball so it's something <laughs> um i feel like it might be um one of the times there's two time colors and there's also sages and stuff it might be one of those <laughs> but i used a g-hook i used a 4.5 millimeter g-hook and it is a free pattern from a website that i can't remember <laughs> but it'll be linked below uh, if you want to check it out it is free to or paid for you can buy the pdf or you can just get the free version on their website but it is cute i did take a picture of her wearing it i'll insert it if i can remember and um you can see it it stops like right here at her ears and you really be, you know hats are i think are supposed to cover your ears a little bit but um still i'll just save it and donate it or give it to someone next year because you know people have babies all the time <laughs> so i'm sure someone i know will have a baby next to autumn so there's that anyways it's done <laughs> i think that's my first finished object in september i think so because i haven't had a lot of time to crochet and I did get a lot of work done on my Halloween um, countdown. It's still attached to a big ball of yellow. <laughs> it's attached to a big, huge, one of those jumbo skeins of Red Heart uh, bright yellow. The old bright yellow that actually was bright. The new bright yellow is real dingy. I don't like it at all. So this is my last skein of the, the good bright yellow. And then I'll have to start looking for a different brand, I guess. Because Red Heart's new bright yellow is not that good looking. <laughs> it's like a real dingy color. But let me pull some slack out here so I don't lose my stitches. Now this is a paid for pattern by the left handed crocheter. I'll link it below. And boy, whew, it took me forever to get this much done on it. But I am completely done with the background graft part. I'm working on the border. I've done uh, two and a half rows of the border, almost three. So I still have, I think, three more rounds to go in the border. And then make the parts on the top that will fold over to hold like a dowel or something will go through to hang onto the wall. And people have suggested me use like a stick, like outside, which I, I, you know, I'd be fine with doing, but I actually want it to hang straight, <laughs> which is hard to find a straight stick. And also it won't be visible the way this thing is done. Um, uh, I'm pretty sure the hanging part is behind it, so you can't see it. So it doesn't really matter if it's a oh, stick or a dowel. I just want it to hang straight. So it needs to be straight like a dowel, <laughs> if that makes any sense. But, um. I'll just purchase one. But anyways, so I got all the graffiti part done. I worked like crazy yesterday. And I told Devin, I was like, You're, you, you got the baby today because I'm finishing this. So here's the top of the house and a little smoke coming out of the chimney and the moon, the roof. And then this is pretty much all the way the same <laughs> down to the bottom where the door is. Ooh, so the border will be like a candy can, uh, it's not a candy cane, <laughs> candy corn. It'll be orange, yellow, and white. And then the part that you hang it with will be white as well. So it's pretty big. I haven't measured it, but it's really big. So now I got to go back and make all the pockets and sew them on there. And then some of the pockets have window, like appliques that make them look like windows. Put those on there. There's a round one up here. And then there's a little ghost um, applique and I think pumpkins to put on there. I think that might be it. And then uh, the, I'll do the numbers. I'm going to have my sister make them on her Cricut once I get the pockets done and measure them to see what size they are so she knows what size to make the numbers. And I think I'm going to buy some stiff felt for her to cut them out on her Cricut. Um, like she did with the Jack Skellington eyes and the Oogie Boogie eyes and mouth. Um, I can't decide what color I want them though. Because like it's the pockets are going to be purple and a couple of them are going to be black. 
and some gray. So I don't know if I want to make them white. Maybe like get sparkly felt as white. Or if I want to get like a Halloween color like orange or something. Or green. I don't know. I have to go to Hobby Lobby or somewhere. Where whoever sells that stiff stuff. <laughs> and look at all the colors and try to figure out which ones would look best with this. But this did take forever. Um, and I told Jesse, I was like, y'all going to have to share this after this year. Because June can't really eat candy this year. But next year I'm just going to put two pieces of candy in each pocket. And um, they can share it because I'm not making another one. <laughs> it was a lot of work. But uh, I'm excited that I got that going. So I'm hoping to finish the border today and the hangy part. And then um, I can start on the pockets. I already printed out the instructions for the pockets and uh, the hanger. So I'm, I'm doing all that with a J hook. It is a six millimeter. Yeah, a six millimeter J hook. Um, I don't know if the pockets and all that are the same. Or the, I know the pockets are, but the appliques I think might be different. But anyway, so I'm getting progress done on that. I'm excited about that. So those are the only two things I'm crocheting right now. <laughs> I do have some more things that I want to start, of course, don't we all? <laughs> but I'm trying really hard to get a lot of work done on that because, you know, that needs to be done before October 1st. <laughs> and, I mean, it's only the 10th, so it's still, like, what, three weeks until October. But um, I want to try to get that done before Halloween. And then um, I'm going to back it with felt as well to make it, like, a stiff background so it'll hold it flat against the wall. I did that with some of my other wall hangings before. Um, let's see here. So, yeah. Also, I was on Amazon looking around and the Iconic Women's Crochet book, there, there's coming out a second one in March. You can pre-order it now, March 7th, I think, next year. And I'm pretty sure it's got Princess Diana. I'll pop a picture because it looks like Princess Diana. And it's also got Mary Shelley and a little tiny Frankenstein doll. So I'm super excited about that. She's the person who wrote uh, the Frankenstein book. <laughs> and it has a little Frankenstein doll, so I thought it was so cute. So I can't wait for that. I think it says there's 15. Um... So I got excited when I saw that. I'm definitely going to pre-order that eventually, if I can remember to, and um, get that. I really wish they'd make an Alcalic Man. I realize why they're doing the women one, because uh, men are already celebrated enough. But I do, like I said before, I do have a son. So I would like him to grow up with good male influences. Um, and, you know, not just to have girl ones, but boy ones too. But anyways, you know, whatever. So, now I'm going to go to the happy moment portion. <laughs> it's a lot of fabric. It's mostly fabric. A couple other things. But, um, oh, Lord. I hope I didn't mix them up. They're from the two people who send me fabric, usually, most of the time. One is a mystery person who wishes to stay anonymous. Anonymous. And the other one is from Mary. She, Mary also sent a few other things, but they're already scattered around the house. Oh, and I also got a card. This is a card from Barbara. Sailboat Barbara. Isn't it pretty? It's a really cool picture of a bunch of fish. I don't know what kind of fish that is. Does it say? It does not. It is um, some fish. <laughs> some kind of schooling fish. But it's really pretty. So she wrote me a really nice note. And I saved her address this time. Because I keep accidentally getting rid of it. And I want to write her a letter back. But in her um, note, she mentions that, mentions that they went to go watch... On the 29th of August, a rocket launch, which is so cool. I would love to go do that one day with, like, Jesse and all that. I think he'd love that. I remember we watched the, um, the eclipse. Was that 2019? I think that was 2019. Or was that 2017? It's 2019. I'm pretty sure. April something to 2019? No, because that's... I don't know. <laughs> Whenever that eclipse was that you could see in the south. <laughs> um, I just thought it was pretty cool. He was really little. And there's supposed to be another one coming up, I think, next year that you can see in Kentucky. I mean, Devin thought about traveling up there with Jesse's because now that he's older, he can actually watch it better, you know, and understand more what's going on. Um, so I have to look into that. <laughs> but anyways, thank you, Barbara. All right. So I'm pretty sure. Okay, this came with this package. This is the fabric from the Anonymous Cinder. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I hope I didn't get these mixed up. Yes, I'm pretty sure. All right, so they sent some really cool um, folly Halloween-y ones. So first is this one. In no particular order, really. Try to get it to where you can see the print. It's like a cool Halloween witchy. It's got a crow and a cat. It's like potion bottles. 
you know, butterfly and like an eye and a pumpkin and a spooky tree and a hand with a spider hanging from it. Really cool, like Halloween -y, witchy, spooky print. So that'll be coming up in the shop sooner rather than later. And then this really pretty fall print. It's got pumpkins and like uh, fall floral picks. <laughs> Good things, really pretty. <clears throat> and then, of course, uh, Night Room for Christmas. <laughs> I'm gonna have to make myself a little bag out of this and then the leftover, make a bag for the shop. I love Night Room for Christmas. And this is a cool, like, um, it's like uh, sugar skulls, but it's also Halloween-y just because it's kind of creepy looking. It has got all the skulls in the background. So it's like women with sugar skull faces. It's got skulls and roses. So it's kind of Halloween-y. And then this one is just animals, but the colors make it like give off fall vibes. <laughs> it's orange and green, but it's like an elk and a bear and an eagle maybe. That's what it looks like. And a wolf. There's also a wolf silhouette so it's kind of animal print but it also gives off fall vibes because of the color scheme <laughs> and then there's just really pretty floral pineapple very pretty i thought it was so cute and this one is really cool some some of y'all will like this a lot i don't wear high heels because i'm not girly at all but it's a pretty high heel print and it's got like butter butterflies on it and feathers it's really pretty those are that'll be some cute bags and then this really cool rainbow oil slick looking print <laughs> and these are rainbow polka dots and this one's like a Christmassy one it's got a bigger print on it so let me fold it out it says merry and bright let it snow happy holidays peace love stuff like that and it's got penguins like a little penguin family and a little bear family and some deer so that'd be really cute Christmas bags um, when the time comes it's coming up <laughs> I got a lot of Christmas fabric too and then this big piece of red which is good because I can use it for liners I love getting solar color too because it's good for liners and then there's two fat quarters so I can make a drawstring bag set out of this or a drawstring bag with dragonflies and flowers there's flowers and then there's two fat quarters of like rainbow print butterflies really pretty and this is really pretty uh, gingham. Is this gingham or buffalo? I think this is gingham. <laughs> gingham print. And then this is a really cool, like green with gold splats <laughs> on it. And then the, this is like a thicker canvasy print with these little checks on it. <laughs> so that's all the fabric that she sent. And she also sent um, some of the webbing type stuff that I use for handles. So, there's this one little package here. It's got uh, some different colors on it and black and gold and white. And this, I actually bought a big old roll of this myself at my Hobby Lobby on clearance. Um, so, I now got more of it. And then this really cool rainbow one. I love that a lot. I'll have to try to find a bag that I can use that one for myself. <laughs> okay, so that was the first package. And then the second package, this is the one that's from Mary. So, she sent a couple, she sent um, a pacifier for June which is in the kitchen and she sent a little like magnet drawing board you know you draw on it and then you like swipe it and it erases for jesse which he loves he's been playing with that like crazy and then she also sent um this is the applique pressing sheet she said in her note which is right here which is so cute it's like a little quilt and it says on the back that it's from sewology so that's cool i love the size of this card too i need to get some cards that's this size because it's good to write just like a little note on when you send it to someone um, and it's just a cute little card. But anyways, she wrote in her note that she uses this a lot and it helps a lot. I never even heard of these. And then after I got it, I, I looked it up on YouTube and I watched a bunch of people using them and it is pretty handy. Uh, so I definitely will probably use it one of these days. I just don't know when, <laughs> but, uh, it's still in this package. And it also says that there's a free pattern in there. So I guess it's rolled up with it. So there's that thing. J Jesse really wanted that for some reason. He wanted to open it and I was like, it's for sewing. You're not going to like it. <laughs> I'm going to a bag. Alright, she sent some really cool fireworks. Okay. First is this really cool, like, Parisian Paris themed Eiffel Tower 
print. <laughs> it's actually usually really popular. Um, I've actually had people ask specifically for Paris prints. This one is really pretty. I don't really like owls usually because I used to be scared of them. I don't know if I still am. <laughs> I might be. But this is a really cute owl print. It's like artsy. I like it a lot. I like the colors. And this would be a good liner. It's uh, like a brown color. <laughs> I'm not good at describing things. And this is like a, um, it's like a leaf, a fall leaf print. But that would be a good liner for a bag made with this. Or like a contrast color for like if I make one of those, some of those bags that's two different prints. But I like this one a lot. It's really pretty. And then they're really cute spider Halloween print. They got, they're so cute. And then she said this, which would be a good liner or a contrasting bag for that and some other prints that I got. It's Halloween. It's like a gingham, but it's Halloween colors. And then there's this really pretty print, which I don't know. This is giving vibes like um, Greece or like Tuscany or something. <laughs> I don't know. But it's giving vibes for like that. Is that upside down? That's upside down. And it's got some shimmer to it. It's really pretty. It'd make a really pretty tote bag. And then there's also this pretty green shimmer to it. That would actually be a good one for that. I'm assuming that's why she sent them. They're kind of like uh, sets. <laughs> if that makes you know, like they go together. Like this goes good with this print. And these two Halloween ones go good together. And those two brown ones go good together. And then these ones were really cool. Jesse claimed these fabrics as soon as he seen them. But I told him that I would make him something out of them. But I would also use them for my shop too. So uh, first there's this one. And it's got the little aliens off of Space Invaders on it. So there's there's a lot of it there. It feels like it might be a couple of yards. And then there's this one. It's got a bunch of video game themed things on it. It says pause and 100,000 points. High score, play, star, you know, just game related things and then this one which has all kinds of game related controllers and like the switch and headphones and it's got like game boys and uh got different um controllers and it's got the little joy cons and stuff it's just really cute jesse definitely wanted something out of these so i gotta make him something out of those and then whatever's left i will make bags for shop but that's all of it i'm pretty sure i hope nothing got separated other than those two things for the kids I think that's all the happy mall I got. I did notice that I'm getting something from Alaska. And if it's, I think it's from Mad Meanie. Because it's from the area where she's from. The North Pole. Because I know that she's from, she's around the North Pole. Alaska. And, uh, Seda is like, I can't remember the word, was Wasilla or something like that. Alaska. It's like a W word, for sure. <laughs> so I, I saw that in my, like, um. Uh, you know, your email, you get an email from what mail is coming. I'm also, my knit crate is on its way, and I'm getting a package from my friend Phyllis, but I already know that I'm getting it because <laughs> I specifically asked her for it. But, um, yeah, so I'll be showing those whenever they come. So I'm excited to see what that is from Alaska because I have no idea what it is. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I guess that's everything. I wanted to show you guys my progress on my Halloween thing because it's finally going. <laughs> and I wanted to show all this fabric so I can go ahead and stuff it somewhere because I'm running out of room. On my little shelf. I only have a three shelf thing with my fabric on it. I need to pull out all the Halloween and fall prints and start working on them next. I still have bags that I've been, I haven't worked on them at all in like three weeks. I don't even know. Whenever the last update was, I haven't worked at all. Um, the bags that are in there are like a fifth of the way done. I just got busy with life and stuff. So I'm going to try to finish those up this next week <laughs> and get them out. Um, it's a few tote bags and some drawstring bag sets. And then I'm going to start on these fall prints. The ones that I got from these packages and then I still have some in my mustache. Fall and Halloween. And then after that it's going to be a bunch of random prints, you know. I'll do regular prints mixed with Christmas and winter themed prints. Because um, I got a lot of that fabric too and I need to try to work through it this year. So that I can start off fresh in the new year. But I'm going to load all this fabric back up in this bag so I can carry it back in there where it goes. And I'm going to get my cards so I don't lose them. And take my crochet back, and then I'm gonna clean up. And I'm just gonna clean up all this mess. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, I guess that's it. De Devin works today, so I got to get ready to, and you know, have the, f the whole fort down for myself. <laughs> Hold the fort down. Um, but yeah, 
Oh, I also wanted to mention, because I've only bought two balls of yarn this whole year, and it's two balls of Red Heart Amethyst for that Halloween project, um, which I think is pretty cool. I haven't bought an excessive amount of yarn. I didn't do the clearance sale or anything. <laughs> um, but I was looking at my stash, because in here in the bedroom, I keep all my solid colors for, like, amigurumis and things like that Halloween thing. And it's actually dwindled a lot. I'm running out. I'm out of a lot of colors. Like, I don't have hard... I don't think I have any spring green. Maybe, yeah, because none of those are spring green. Uh, again, I'm almost out of purple except those amethyst. I don't know why I don't have a lot of purple. I don't have any more of that bright orange, red heart, pumpkin, the bright orange, because I'm using, I have like a scrap ball left after those two rows on that. Uh, I only have two balls of black, which is not a lot when you're an amigurumi maker. I still have a ton of white because I got a whole bunch of white gifted to me. Uh, I'm running, I don't have any bright reds. Like, I'm running out of solid color yarn, so I'm going to have to start buying those. <laughs> but I've got an excessive amount of cakes and multicolor yarns because I keep getting them gifted to me, which I appreciate. But, um, I really don't need it anymore. <laughs> so, if, if you have the yarn that you're going to give to me, maybe don't. <laughs> give it to someone else because I have a ridiculous amount of stripey yarns and variegated yarns that I need to work through. i got to start working on my, um... Because looking at my stash, like it, I would show it to you, but it's so messy looking. Uh, I'm running low on all the colors. I have a ton of cream from that 64 cent sale a few years ago. I still have like six or seven balls of cream. <laughs> well, it's Aaron. Uh, I don't. I only have one yellow. I only have like most of the colors I have left are really dark colors. I've used all my bright ones, so I gotta start getting some bright colors. I don't have like hardly any oranges, reds bright blues. I got a lot of dark blues. I got some grays, but I don't have different shades of grays. You know, if you're an emigre maker, you know what I mean. We need like a whole spectrum of yarn and I'm running low. So I'm going to have to start purchasing yarn even though I don't want to because I did so good this year not doing that. But anyways, I'm going to hop off here now because it's a really long video. I don't think I have to edit anything though. So I don't think I sneezed or anything. I can't remember. <laughs> but I'm going to hop off here, edit this, clean up my mess, and I'll see you guys in another video hopefully soon. And uh, yeah, I guess that's it. <laughs> Bye guys.